So this is going to be for the month of December, okay? For December, what messages are there for Cancers, okay? Cancers, 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 Cancers. Let's see. What messages are there for Cancers for the month of December? Cancers for the month of December. What general message? Keep in mind, guys, these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Cancer. Um, if this message does seem to resonate with you, don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and your friends as well, okay? All right, if you're new to that channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There is so much more to come, all right? So this is going to be for the month of December. What message is there for Cancers for the month of December? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, okay? Stability, okay? So your focus could be on stability, home life. This is marriage, okay? Family, okay? Some of you guys could be getting together, you know, for um, the holidays, getting together with family. Okay, so let's see what's going on. For the cancers all right so we got the three of cups so yeah there is like a reuniting a coming together okay so maybe you're getting together with family and friends okay we got the star card aquarius is energy and we have the ace of wands fire energy leo sagittarius aries the sun card leo's energy all right and we have King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so what's going on, Cancers? What's what's going on? Let's see. All right, let's grab a few clarifiers. I see that you're wanting to come together with someone, okay? You're reuniting with someone what is the three of cups here maybe you feel left out okay maybe you feel like you don't fit in into a circle of people or you're hoping that someone is feeling left out because i see we got the star card here as the challenge okay and see, yeah, uh, at the bottom of the deck, we still have that four of wands there. Why is the star card here? Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. So, we got the five of wands. Okay. So, there's conflict. Are you hoping that there's some type of conflict? Or you're hoping that someone says something to you? I'm getting kind of like, I hope they say something to me. I don't like them anyway. Is what I'm getting right off the bat. Okay, Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, like some. It's like the start an argument, start a disagreement. Um. Are you guys trying to offend somebody? What is this? I feel like here with that King of Swords here, energy as well here. Like, somebody here is being cold. All right? Somebody here is communicating very harshly, possibly. Or, you know, is coming off as cold here. We got King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, this energy. What's going on? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah, more conflict, Five of Wands. So I'm not sure if there's a disagreement or someone here is trying to start an argument or start pick a fight with you. This could be you coming off as, as this energy or somebody around you could be coming off this way. But somebody want to start some drama here. It's like, I hope they say something. Challenges, you know how I hope they say something. Okay? 
I got a, I got some something that I want to say too. Why is the King of Swords here? The Seven of Cups. Lots of confusion here, okay? Lots of confusion surrounding this. All right, and someone is walking away as well. Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Someone here is in their feelings here. Someone is walking away because they're in their feelings. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Somebody done pissed the crab off. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ooh. Ten of Wands. Uh, there's disappointment here. We got the Four of Cups. What the hell is going on here, Cancers? Queen of Wands. Is there somebody here that you don't like? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Maybe the person is too flighty. But there's some, some like, you know, there's a lot of confusion around this situation, okay? Let's, let's talk about this sun card because you got a positive card here. This could be Leo's energy. There's the sun card here. Ooh. Okay, so something here in the past is on hold. magician you were making someone wait or someone was making you wait and you was feeling stuck okay you, you were feeling stuck or someone here was afraid to communicate something okay someone's afraid to speak their truth or talk about something that they saw or something that they know Maybe you were trying to bring something to the light here with this magician. I'm mean, sorry, with this sun card. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? This Ten of Swords energy is future energy. So there is a betrayal or a backstab or feeling betrayed. But this is also talks about an ending, okay? So there's a completion here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? This is something that is done over with. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ooh, yeah, something is over with and you are moving on. Okay. With this Ten of Wands, this is saying that, you know, this situation is too much. This is dropping a load. Okay. Maybe you're wanting to let something go and you're letting something go because you're ending it and you're moving on. Okay. You've been waiting for this person to act right, or you've been waiting for a commitment from this person. I feel like a, for a lot of you guys, maybe you were waiting on some type of commitment because we got the King of Cups here right after that, which is you guys' energy. But I feel like you've been warning someone that, you know, that some changes need to be made. You're cutting something out. You're moving on. I'll be moving on. On. On moving on. I'll be moving on. Yeah, you're telling somebody that it's something is over and you're moving on. Okay, look. This is causing a disruption in the family, in the home. Maybe you're telling somebody that you're moving out, that you're done with this. Taking control. Ooh, what's going on, Cancers? What is going on? All right, so let's see. How you feel about this person, how this person feels about you, and what action they're going to be taking towards you. 
Keep in mind, guys, this energy can be vice versa as well. So you could be telling someone that you're leaving or someone is telling you that they're done and they're out. But there's a lot of drama surrounded around this situation. It's conflict and drama is going on. All right, so first card is going to be how you feel about them. The second card is going to be how they feel about you. And the third card is going to be what action they're going to take towards you. All right, let's see. First card. Cancer, how does the cancer feel about them, okay? It looks like someone here is waiting for an invitation or an invite. Maybe you didn't receive it, um, but it's just like waiting on some type of communication, waiting on something from someone, okay? You feel like this person needs to make some changes. This person feels as if this situation is over, okay? We got the star card as, as their um, action towards you. You're waiting for some type of changes. Yeah, this person feels like you stabbed them in the back or there needs to be some type of ending or that you betrayed them. Okay, and it, whoa, okay. Cancers, what the hell is going on? They're hoping, we got the eight of cups here, walking away, leaving. This person is a player, and you was, you know, waiting on them to make some type of adjustment, some type of change, some type of changes. They're feeling like they're done investing or they're done waiting, but I feel like there's possibly it's like some type of, possibly an investment with the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, Okay. You were waiting for this person to make some type of change, possibly in communication, or this person is like at a distance from you. I feel like they feel as if you are possibly cutting them off. This thing has came to an end. They feel like something isn't worth, they feel like something isn't worth it anymore. I'm getting as well, like they've tried, they feel like they've tried with this eight of pentacles, they've, they've put their work in um and there's just like this big blow up there's this big blow up okay because we got the tower card here some of you guys are dealing with a scorpio but there's this big blow up okay um and someone is walking away from the situation They've been telling you, you, you've you been telling this person what you need, okay? And it could be emotionally, okay? You've been emotionally telling this person, you know, what you need from them emotionally. They feel like something isn't worth putting, they feel like this is this, this over, like something isn't worth the wait or they just feel like the situation is over, okay? And they're hoping that they have hope um, in this situation, like they've, they've, I feel like they've tried to put in the effort, but they are wanting to walk away, um, after some big blow up. Okay. There's some big blow up here after some get together or why is the three of cups here? Okay. Something about getting together with friends or coming together. Um, someone is tired of something and they've been holding this back. Okay. Yep. I see an argument. I see a disagreement here. Some type of disagreement. Cancers.
Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. I got Lib I got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I got Aries energy here as well as uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got pretty much every sign here. So this could be your energy or your partner's energy. You guys let me know what's going on in the comment section. This was like, wow. Okay, let's see. Are there any additional messages for cancers? I got pay attention to the red flags, guys. Pay attention to the red flags. trust factor here as well Ooh, okay all right guys we have release your ex okay so maybe some of you guys need to release a person okay the time has come to clear your energy okay so it may be time to clear your energy of someone all right and stay optimistic about love okay long as you keep a positive mind frame and and mindset in regards to love if you have to release this person someone new will come along okay Whew. all right we have unrequited love okay so the chemistry is kind of off okay so we have there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going and then we also have wedding so for some of you guys, this situation involves like a marriage. Some of you guys have uh, possibly want, are married to this person or the, someone in this party is possibly married, okay? Um, but I'm most definitely picking up, okay, that you deserve so much more and you really, really need to focus on yourself and making sure that you're putting yourself first, okay? So you, your self-respect is going to make you more romantically attractive, but this situation is an unrequited situation, okay? It's not enough balance, okay? Something is very unbalanced in this situation, okay? So for some of you guys, you it may be time to release a situation because look how this person is looking. This person is looking like, you know, I'm over it. I'm over it, over it. It's time for me to let this go, okay? All right, guys. If this message resonated, make sure to leave me a comment. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information should come along somewhere along the video or in the Dropbox below, okay? All right, my loves. Until next time, ciao for now.